Good morning, Privateer FX fans. Coming at you on Thursday, 18 October. Minutes last night were as expected. Rates are going higher in December. And let's see what that means uh, for stocks and currencies. You see on the ES last night, pretty big range. Closed where it opened at 15. So far, we're lower here in Europe. This is a sell on rally. You just got to be careful picking your points. You know, we sold 13s yesterday. Uh, we did not get any in uh, at down at the lows, but then we just sort of took the money at 95, and then we resold at 11, and then we scratched those. And we're just. We're just kind of left-hand side on this. We're sort of carefully left-hand side. We're not throwing all our chips into the middle of the table. This isn't some sort of like crazy Texas Hold'em type situation. This is a casual, uh, casual core short where you're grabbing cash and you're trading left-hand side with the acknowledgement that there will be days where this thing goes up uh, 60, 70, 80 handles. And this is what happens when you start the beginning of a bear market. You have all these flushes north, uh, which is basically intraday guys, sort of like us, getting stopped out. So you want to try and avoid those moments and just be careful and core short. Dollars are, we got this head and shoulders that everyone in the world is looking at. Is this neckline going to break? I'm going to say no. Today will be a big day to decide that. Uh, budget is out in six days. Um, it's my feeling they're going to fuck that up. So it's a little bit early to be short czar uh, for the budget. But if stocks are going left and if the dollar in general is, is, is strong, as you can see, it is. Euro is at 115. Dollar Swiss is near the highs. Dollar Yen is at 112.50. Dollar is pretty strong. This uh, may turn. Be nice to print a higher high today. It looks like we are at the open, uh, but it, we haven't confirmed that yet. 1420, 1428 was yesterday's high. So let's have a look at that and see. One of the cleaner charts out there is this dollar Swiss now. We've had consolidation, 99.50, 98.50. We printed 57 last night, 255 highs and a 53 high. I'm sorry, last night's high was 55. This morning's high was 57. They nipped through that, but it was Asia and it's dollar Swiss, so you can't really, can't really count that as important. Hourly close above 55 is going to lead to prices at parity. Um, this is a very clean, straightforward chart. You can have a very nice risk reward um, on dollar Swiss longs if we see that hourly close above 55. What else is there? Dollar yen is going to be conflicted now if stocks are going left, but the dollar is bid. It's a tough one. We still rest on this weekly setup. We feel like we're in a strong downtrend here. Um, and this is a sell, ideally near 113 the figure. I feel like there's going to be some slush here between 112.40 and 112.80. So nothing to do here at 112.50. Focus today, if you're going to trade the dollar, is dollar Swiss. Cable. Just, I don't know how, I mean, I've lived in Europe now over 20 years and it's just so incredibly typical to kick the can down the road, to postpone any hard decisions, to not face current realities. Uh, this is a strategy that has been employed in Europe and in the UK for so long, it's, it's just, uh, just silly. Um, now they're extending the Brexit transition beyond 2020. What does this mean? I have no idea. It just is a headache, right? I mean, it just makes cable hard to trade. 
bought um, pussy politicians. God, it's just unbelievable. Just make a decision and fall through on it and get on with it. You know, the world is not going to end if the UK leaves. The world is not going to end if the UK stays. But no, we're going to spend another year bullshitting about Brexit. Okay, I got that off my chest. Uh, <laughs> the chart the chart looks like I have no idea. My advice is just don't trade cable. Um, if this wasn't cable, I'd get bearish. Sort of below 130.80. But because it's cable, I don't even trade it anymore. So, anyway, they kick the can on uh, Brexit, and we'll see what happens. I've said enough this morning. Uh, good luck there, people. Dollar Swiss is our horse, and we will be short stocks at some point today, and also short BTPs. Good luck out there.